Hey, so um, basically this video is about my thoughts on the Death Note movies. And I just came up with this idea for a video, um, I think it was uh, yesterday. And uh, yeah, so in case um, you haven't heard or knew about, um, for Death Note, they're making a an American, um, uh, like, version of Death Note. So, an American Death Note movie. And as soon as I found this out, and, like, as soon as, like, I heard that they were actually thinking of making, like, an American version of Death Note, I'm just, my reaction to that was, uh, yeah, basically, it was like that. So, I saw the trailer for it, and again, I had that same reaction, uh, again, so, so yeah, basically, um, like, my thoughts, um, obviously on the American Death Note trailer, um, well, first of all, um, I will say this for something good, is that, um, the guy that they've got playing Ryuk is being played by William Defoe. And based on what I've seen through the trailer, how he's acting as Ryuk was pretty pretty decent so far, based on the trailer, which is really good. So far, like what I've noticed is like they've always managed to um get the perfect Ryuk. And what I mean by is that the guy who voice acted who voice acts Ryuk from the anime was really good. And the guy who played Ryuk in the um Death Note live action movie with the Japanese uh actors, he was good as Ryuk too. And now for this American Death Note version movie uh, William Defoe playing Ryuk is also pretty good. So that's basically the only good thing that I was able to get from the trailer. As far as how the other characters look, they're like, eh. So, I mean, the guy who plays Light is eh. and I think uh so far the girl that's the that, well I guess is supposed to be Misa um she she has a uh, dark hair even though Misa's uh, hair is supposed is blonde in the anime version but in the Death Note live action with the Japanese voice actors, the girl who played Misa also had dark hair, but they kept um, her looking as what Misa's, Misa's um, appearance is supposed to be. Like, she has the, you know, little pigtails on the side, and she dresses and like goth clothes and all that stuff and she's all cutesy and all that stuff but so far when I um I saw the Misa in the American version trailer um her hair was all down she didn't have the pigtails and I'm pretty sure she wasn't wearing any like goth clothes. She was just wearing like normal clothes. So 
basically she just looked like a normal chick that was like talking to light and all that stuff. And I managed to pick her out that she was supposed to be Misa because she was, you know, talking to light and she, uh, there's a little um, snippet, uh, snippet scene of her saying to light, oh, we should create a new world together and all that stuff. So that's got to be her. That's got to be Misa. Um, also, what I found interesting for the American Death Note um, Netflix uh, series is um, they changed um, maybe, I, I'm not sure if it's all of the names, but for at least like some likes um, cause the original characters have Japanese names. So they, they changed it around to make it sound more American, I guess. So I'm looking at it right now. So basically L is still L and they changed the name, um, Misa Amane to, I think it's Mia Sutton or something like that. And then for Light, instead of Light Yagami, they changed it to Light Turner. Um, I mean, it makes sense since it's an American version. But then again, it's still changing uh, the original names from the original, uh, Death Note. And also, um, what's also different is, um, the L in this American Death Note movie is actually played by a black actor. Now, I certainly don't have a problem with, um, any colored actor that supposed to be playing a specific character from an anime and, and all that jazz. I mean, based, I think, if I remember correctly, based on the trailer that I've seen, he doesn't, he's not dressed as the, the L we all know and love from the anime. Um... But basically, um, yeah, I think, yeah, he was wearing like a, I think it was like a dark coat or something. And then he had like a black mask that covers his nose and mouth to, you know, so his face is hidden and all that stuff. So he's more, mis uh, he's still mysterious in a way. And I guess he doesn't, he's going to be walking normally since we all know L from the anime. He's like hunched over and he has his thumb to his lips all the time. And, um, I don't know. I haven't seen much of him talking in the trailer, so I can't uh, specify of how he's going to act as L. So, yeah, I guess that's all I need to point out for the American version of the Death Note. Um, but yeah, as I said before, it is going to be a Netflix series starting on August 25th. So, right, basically, okay, I... I saw, I think, two trailers of it, and I think I'm caught up with all the trailers that they have so far. So, so what I thought of the trailer was basically, eh, I'm not looking for much. Um, to me, it just doesn't look like it's gonna go well, or it's not gonna be as good, or whatever. But in the meantime, um, back in Japan, they're filming, they're actually filming, um, more movies to follow after the, um, 
the previous live action Death Note movies and all that stuff. So basically the new ones are called Death Note New Generation and Death Note Light Up the New World. So yeah, basically it's about this girl who picks up a Death Note, just like Light did. And according to this, it's like a mini-series, and it's supposed to be a ten-year gap between the previous films up to these films, apparently. So ten years later. Um, so yeah, this girl that finds the notebook, she's like the new Kira. Or, or something like that. And then they, and then on the poster, they show uh, three people. Um, so apparently, um, let me see. Yeah, features Sakuro, and Ryuzaki, and Yuki. So Saku Sakuro is the leader of the Death Note Task Force. Force um, Ryuzaki is the original su successor to L, and then Yuki is a cyber terrorist who worships Kira. So, yeah, that seems pretty interesting. And then also based on the poster, it looks like Ryuk makes another appearance. So I guess he comes back to Earth to I don't know. He probably got bored again, and is probably going to watch someone else use the death note for their own needs and all that stuff. But, um, yeah. So, between the American version and the uh, Japanese version with the uh, new characters, I would be more interested in seeing the the Japanese live action movies but um but yeah uh yeah just let me know how the American version is or whatever um yeah I'm bound to watch the uh the new generation and a light light up the new world um movies that are gonna i don't know if they're out yet or if they're still being filmed but i don't know whatever um so ba yeah that's basically my opinion on the american version of death note and the new um uh japanese live action movies that are gonna come out or have recently been made or whatever um but yeah also um if you follow my Wattpad page um I write fan fictions and all that stuff and I have written a Death Note story based on the anime version and I have also done a Death Note live action movie version. And basically, um, well, depending on which ending you pick uh, from the live action Death Note story. Um, yeah, if I were to watch the new Death Note live action Japanese versions, um, if I were to continue my live action Death Note story after seeing the, those two movies, um, I don't know, would you guys consider, um, of letting it be a good idea if I did a fan fiction of, um, of Rose, which is my character's name that worked alongside with L and Light and all that stuff. Would you, um, I mean, would you think of it as a good idea if Rose were to, um, uh, go back 
to Japan after hearing this news about a new Kira um, rising up to power and all that stuff. I mean, basically, she already knows um, how the deaths occur and all that stuff. So, so she would have a, an idea unless somehow her memories of the death note got erased. Because if I remember correctly, she got rid of her death note. If I remember correctly. But I don't know. If you guys are watching this video, um, I don't know, just let me know on your thoughts if you think that would be a good idea to write a fan fiction on the two movies with a new Kira and her getting involved in trying to solve the case again. After this whole deal with her going through with the whole Kira investigation and with Light being Kira and how it was hard for her and all that stuff. But I don't know, just think about that idea because because it kind of piqued my interest as soon as I found out they, were, they made two new Death Note movies. So, I don't know. Think about that idea. And, I don't know, let me know on my channel or on my Wattpad profile. So, so yeah. Um, that was my basic thoughts on both versions of the Death Note movies or shows or whatever and yeah just see you next time on my next video